When calculating value for money without a calculator, we need to consider how much the same amount of the, of the product costs under the different deals on offer. So in this example, option A has cereal for uh, 250 grams of cereal for £2.50. So to work out how much 100 grams costs, we have 250 grams costing 250 pence. I'll put it into pence to make it a little bit easier. So what we can say is, if we divide both sides by five, we'll end up with 50 grams costing 50p. So that means that 100 grams would cost 100 pence, which is a pound. Now option B has a 300 gram, is a 300 gram box for £3.30. So we can say 300 grams is 330 pence. To work out how much 100 grams costs, we can just divide by 3. 300 divided by 3 is 100, and 330 divided by, by 3 is going to be 110p, which is £1.10. So option A has 100 grams for £1, and option B has 100 grams for £1.10, which is more expensive. So we say that option A is the best buy, because it's 10 pence cheaper for every 100 grams. Here's another example. This time we have a small box of printer paper with 500 sheets for £2.50. So what I could say is 500 sheets is 250 pence. So let's say we can work out um, how much 100 sheets is worth. To do this, I could divide both sides by 5. So 100 sheets is going to be 250 divided by 5, which is 50. So we have 100 sheets for 50p. The large box has 1,000 sheets for £5.60. So for the large box, I can say 1,000 sheets is 560p. And I can divide both sides by 10 to work out that 100 sheets is 56p, which is more expensive. So even though we wouldn't assume it, it's actual, um, here the small box is actually the best value for money. So we'd say small box is the best value here. Here's a question for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go at it. And when you're ready to go through the answer, press play. Okay, let's go through the answer. So for the small box, we have 10 pens for 150p. So we can say, um, in this case, that one pen is 15p. And for the large, the large box, we have 30 pens for 480p. To work out how much 10 pens costs, I could divide by 3. So I need to do 480 divided by 3, which is 160. So that means that one pen is just 16p. So the large box is actually more expensive because every pen is 16p. So again, counterintuitively here, the best option is uh, the small box.